Hi, I'm Dave Kassler. Today's topic is a simple example that starts with taking a picture and ends with that picture in genealogy software, in this case, Ancestral Quest. This can be done in many ways, of course, but I'm going to show you a quick way that works every time. There are four steps. First, capture the image. Second, move the image to the computer. Third, manage the image on the computer. Fourth, bring the image into Ancestral Quest. Let's take a look at step one. This is a small point and shoot camera. Mine is made by Sony and I bought it at Walmart. I turn it on, point it, and take the picture. Fortunately, because digital images are inexpensive, I can take lots of pictures and then choose the best one. I suggest you also take lots of pictures. Now comes step two, moving the image to the computer. Here's an easy way to do this. Open your My Pictures directory. Let's create a new folder on the computer's hard drive as a place to transfer the pictures we just took. Right click in the window, choose folder, and then give it a name, the date, and the topic. I like to label my folders with the date and the topic. If you put the year first, you'll be able to sort these more easily. Now we have a place on the computer to put our new images. Open the camera and pull out the SDHC memory card. Pretty small, isn't it? Most computers these days have a slot where you can insert this memory card. If yours doesn't, you can use a simple adapter such as this one. But in my case, my laptop has the right slot. Press the card into the slot. As soon as I insert the memory card into the computer, it reacts. On your computer, it may ask you what you want to do. Choose Open to File View. In my case, I've taught my computer to do that automatically. So now we have two folders open. One is the destination folder. The second is the memory card. Let's choose the files from the memory card that we want to transfer. Click on the first one, then, while holding down the Shift key, click on the last one. You'll now see today's pictures highlighted. Now right-click in the highlighted area and select Copy. OK, select the window with the destination directory. Anywhere in the box, right-click, then select Paste. Now you have your photos on your hard drive where you can find them. You can now eject the camera memory. Let's begin step three, which is managing your pictures. To see your pictures, click View, then click Extra Large Icons. Flip through these until you find the one you like. You can right-click and select Preview if you want to be sure. Okay, at this point, we've moved your pictures into My Pictures, where they can be used for anything. Now let's discuss step four, putting the photo into Ancestral Quest, or AQ. Before we open AQ, I recommend that we have a single folder that AQ always references for images. That folder should be a subfolder of the folder where you have your active AQ files. You can put your pictures right in the same folder as your AQ files, as I do, or you can create a separate subfolder called something like images. Why have a separate directory for AQ images? The answer is simple. We want the images to stay with AQ. AQ records where the image is relative to where it stores the AQ database file. If you like to put your AQ files on a thumb drive so you can edit them at the local Family History Center, then your images will come with you. If not, once you try to open AQ at the Family History Center, your images can't display because 
they're back at home on your hard drive. So, go back to your My Pictures folder where you put the images. Select the picture you want by clicking on it once. Then right click and select Copy. Now, go to your AQ Images folder. Right click anywhere and select Paste. Your image is now in your AQ directory within easy reach. But you're not quite done. I strongly suggest modifying the file name so you know who the image is of. At this point, the file name is just a bunch of letters and numbers. Let's rename it. Right click on the image, then select Rename. I suggest keeping the original image name as part of the new file name so you know which one it is if you want to find it again. So let's add a name to this image. In this example, I click at the beginning of the name, then type in Kessler David April 2014. Then I press enter. Step four is pulling this into Ancestral Quest. Let's open AQ. Select the person who gets this image, in this case me. Double click on the name to bring up the edit window. Click on the scrapbook. Click on Add. Click on Browse. This brings up the last folder you opened, and if you followed my advice, this will be the single directory where you keep your genealogy photos. Now type into the box. As you type, you'll see a pop-up window showing all the files that start with what you typed. In this case, we click on Kessler David April 2014. Then click Open. Now click Edit, and you'll see the photo. Ancestral Quest has a very simple crop capability, which means selecting only the part of the image that you want. Place the cursor at the upper left-hand corner of the image. Then drag it, meaning keep holding down on the mouse button, until this window includes only what you want to keep. Note that for the scrapbook, AQ deals best with square photos. When you are done, click on OK. You can add a caption title and a description if you like, then click on OK again. The photo is now part of the scrapbook. If you like, while the new photo is selected, you can click on Make Default so that this is the image that comes up on reports such as family group sheets or pedigrees. Okay, let's review our four steps. First, we acquired an image. Second, we moved it to the computer. Third, we managed that image so that it's in my pictures and is also in the directory where Ancestral Quest can find it. Fourth, we pulled it into Ancestral Quest. So I've provided you with four steps that you can use to move an image from your camera to Ancestral Quest. Obviously, this is only one of many ways that work. And as you gain experience, you'll try others. I'm Dave Kassler, wishing you all the best as you discover your family's roots.